All right, guys, uh, wanted to wait a little bit before I got information on the Rog Ally, or basically the refresh version of the Rog Ally. It's called the Rog Ally X. And pre-orders are up right now. You can pick this thing up on Best Buy at the moment. Like, you can go and pre-order it. Though, the price point is a little bit disappointing. I see why they're doing it, but still 800 goddamn dollars hopefully they do come out with a z1 model as well because i've noticed they haven't done that with the rog ally x they always come out with the z1 extreme and this video is just going to be what i think about the device i haven't had my hands to try it because obviously i'm not popular enough we're almost at 400 subs but anyway continuing uh, so far, I mean, I'm pretty impressed of the specs that I'm seeing, though, despite the price being almost like 800 or more dollars plus tax, because that's tax included. 24 gigs of RAM from what I've seen. Uh, that's a huge improvement, though. That's kind of like I stated in my last video regarding the my GPD Win 4 review. Like, I think it's a little bit overkill. I mean, I think. Even 8 gigabytes is plenty, in my opinion, but, you know, if you're doing more tasks on this thing, you, you know, probably higher RAM is more, more recommended. One major improvement that I'm looking forward to is the bigger battery. The ROG Ally originally, I mean, not a bad system, it's actually a great system, but the battery life is atrocious, especially with the wattage that you're putting out of, out of this thing. The original Rog Alley get 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what you're doing, depending on what games you're running, depending on the TDP, depending on the the fr the frame rate. So with the Rog Alley X's improved battery being that it's going to be 80 watt hours, my guess is you're going to get about an hour and a half to two hours right out of the box. With the compared to the original raw galley and personally about an hour and a half to two hours is is okay at best though the recommended uh battery life for any handheld i would say uh two to three hours give or take depending on what you're doing so with the raw galley x if you're pulling about full wattage full performance right out of this thing i'm guessing you're gonna get about an hour and a half to two hours I mean, as listed, 80 watt hour battery. That's just my wild guess. And also, when it comes to the battery life, Grant, I'm gonna be, after, like I st stated, after I finally get a hold of this thing, I'm gonna do a review, and then I'm gonna do like battery tips as well when it comes to the battery life thing. The same thing that, that I did with the ROG Ally is gonna take place with the ROG Ally X. And it's just like basically, a, it's not like the next gen version of the raw ally it's just a more of improved one it's like a it's like a gen refresh kind of like the consoles with the uh, xbox one x and ps4 pro or supposedly the ps5 pro and the series whatever the fuck you want to call it you're basically the same thing it's just it's basically a refresh of like the original system another improvement i would not consider this an improvement also uh shout out to wolf den i'm gonna have to use some of your clip just as a demonstration link to his video his uh channel down below but they decided to move the S sd card slot over to i guess over to the right a little bit more not completely over the vent like it was before which i don't know why they still can't just put the micro sd card slot at the bottom like other systems or over to the side but hey you know it's already didn't been done i don't know how this is going to play out when it comes to the micro sd card overheating it's not completely over the vent but it still could pose a problem because it's close to the vent and especially when you're pulling a lot of heat out of this thing it's just going to blow a lot more hot air from what i've heard though it's going to be a little bit cooler than the original raw galley but that still could cause a problem day one right out of the box i could be completely wrong like i said i don't know how it's going to play out um, I know that the original micro SD card slot was very messy on the ROG Ally. But anyway, another major improvement is... ...was that this ROG Ally X has a full-size SSD. Yep, so major improvement when it comes to the 2230 on the original model. Also, shout out to Wolf Den again. 
link to his original video down in the description i forgot to mention that in the beginning of my video and also his channel down below wolf den uh please do not take down my video for using some clips i you know i i'm i'm a worship i'm a worshiper of your channel dude please uh like i'll kiss your feet anyway back to my video this is going to make things a lot easier when it comes to finding ssds to upgrade you know i'm a huge fan of like swapping ssds out with systems i do that a lot i haven't done that with my gp 14 again sorry to bring that console up we're focused on the rock Island x but i'm using that as an example because it has a 2280 sized ssd in it when it comes to the gp 14 but still this is a huge improvement um that also fares in with the size factor or the form factor it's slightly taller or slightly thicker than the raw galley but it's about the same size and it even comes with a case as well i mean that's another improvement uh so asus does listen even when it comes to the battery as well which i found found pretty funny that they did mention that they paid attention to a lot of youtube videos regarding a up a modification of cutting the case and swapping out the battery or like improving like the battery life that way so they they do pay attention so there's that one thing though i want you guys to keep in mind and this is also since asus does pay attention to a lot of youtube videos is the customer service i heard was not the best they stated that they are working on it though and improving it so if this is kind of something up your alley that you're concerned about i'd probably wait until better news comes out with the customer service or if they make an announcement they still haven't mentioned anything about the micro sd card slot issue obviously with the raw galley but just in general when it comes to the customer service of returning the system although i personally haven't had any issues with the system other than just the terrible battery life which the next system they've improved on i'm going to be needing to save up a lot like a couple months just to get the goddamn thing because i i got i got life stuff to, being a human being is expensive so <laughs> like me trying to get this thing or review it is not going to happen right away uh maybe i might get a chance to get it but who knows like i said i'm not popular enough to get sent one of these things to do a review on so just in general when it comes to a review it will come out for the thing once i get the chance other than that when it comes to the customer service they stated they're going to work on it and make it a better experience for customers who paid for this thing. And when it comes to my experience with the Raw Galley, no issues at all. The majority of the issues, I would argue in state, is probably the Windows operating system on it. It's Windows 11. In my opinion, I've always stated Windows 11 is complete dog shit. I'd never go with... I mean... The closest I'm going to get with Windows 11 is Tiny11, although, like I stated many times before, use that op operating system with a with a caution. Just tread carefully when it comes to that. I use it. It's From my experience, it's safe. But don't take my word for it. It's not digitally signed by Microsoft. But anyway, that's not the topic we're talking about, although you can swap out Windows from what I heard They're from uh, I'm watching Fox Den or something like i can't remember his name also link down in the description you want to check out his video on it is there's two wires attached to the back buttons on the new system that's kind of a bit disappointing and it's the same thing with the gpd win 4 it was a hassle to take that fucking thing apart and swap out the ssd but you know otherwise when it comes to the like modifications it's going to be very user friendly just like the original rog ally so there's always that good news right there so if you don't want to deal with customer service you can always fall back on modifying it yourself i think i'm gonna probably swap the operating system day one out of this thing because like i said i don't like windows 11 if i have no other choice but to deal with windows 11 i will deal with windows 11 windows 11 is also a battery hog and resource heavy as well another big issue with that and also one more thing when it comes to windows 11 windows 11 has patched out the bypass uh account requirement bullshit so i'm guessing when this thing does drop it's going to have in the newer version of uh windows 11 so one thing i'd recommend if you don't want to deal with like if you don't feel safe using a account is again you're gonna have to wipe the ssd inside the thing and put an older version of windows 11 i know i know for a fact windows 10 will work on this thing as well um you're gonna have to do some adjustments in the bios by the way to get proper audio 
but just in general when it comes to the newer version of windows 11 this thing if you do the bypass windows 11 method like the pull up the little command prompt before you know signing in and doing the oob bypass thing it's not going to work with this i guarantee you it's not going to work i could be completely wrong but i would keep an a keen eye out on that but most people who don't really care about that you should be perfectly fine but those who want to not sign in or anything like that you're going to have a little bit more problems regarding that also another thing when it comes to the battery life windows 11 included the ai bullshit in their operating system so that's another reason to swap out windows with this thing when you get it day one so just keep that keep in mind when it comes to that kind of stuff because this is running windows 11 otherwise that's my thoughts on the system i'm gonna go ahead and read off the specs that we're gonna be getting with the newer system i don't know why i didn't do that originally but the obviously it's gonna be a 1080p screen and it's a it, windows 11 home is gonna be the operating system the cpu is a ryzen z1 it's gonna be exactly the same cpu as the original rog ally and 16 threads 24 megabytes total of cache up to 5.1 gigahertz boost the gpu is going to be amd rating amd graphics rdna 3 12 C cus up to 2.7 gigahertz though i don't think that matters to you guys um the the wattage tdb is going to be from 9 to 30 watts the screen is a 7 inch screen 1080p and it's an ips screen it's a by the way it's glossy the srgb is going to be 100 percent um i'm not going to read the rest of this obviously touch screen is important so we're going to have that it's going to be 120 hertz just like their original um it's also the free sync and it's 500 nits by the way the memory is going to be around it says on board 12 gigabyte lpv that's not right um it's 24 gigs so just keep that in mind I know, like like I said, the improvement also is going to be the one terabyte storage of the NVMe SSD. Um, it's also going to have a two USB Type C ports, one for uh, Thunderbolt 4 support as well. So if you have an older version of that, it's not going to work. Um, it also has a Display Port power delivery UHS, and also the micro SD card reader. Keep in mind when it comes to that, still in a re really weird spot. I would recommend having that put down at the bottom. But hey, you know, audio obviously is going to be Dolby Atmos. Um, network and communication is going to be, it's going to be Wi-Fi 6. So that's an, also an improvement. Battery, 85 watt hours, of course, give or take. The, so that's about two or three hours total. You know, that's just a wild guess. Um, power supply, 65 watt hour adapter as well so that's an improvement or a sink that's obviously going to be included it's going to be a little bit heavier when it comes to the weight about 1.49 pounds uh compared to the 1.28 or 1.38 pounds so uh dimensions i've already covered the dimensions um as a fill it has a built-in fingerprint sensor as well so and I forgot to record the actual website spec, so I just used like the one I used for Best Buy when I looked up the system, obviously. But still, you guys get the hint. It has better specs, though it is a little bit more expensive. Now, uh, what I recommend getting this thing, if you've already got a ROG Ally, two things, or maybe a, a few things. Obviously, the battery life is an improvement. Uh, the SSD is also an improvement. The RAM... A little bit overkill in my opinion but if you want to go for higher ram that's also another option the next improvement or upgrade compared to the original rog ally like i stated previously in this video is going to be the case you know the original model didn't have a case this model did the steam deck has a case as well uh i think a lot of hand some handhelds do come with carrying cases uh so that's another step up from the original rog ally is it coming with its own case although i think you can buy it separately i'm not sure but that's also included with the rog ally x when you pre-order it even if you don't pre-order you can go and buy this thing it comes with the case so that's another step improvement so the biggest thing for me 
right now when it comes to the rog ally i was looking forward to when i've heard about the thing back in the or like maybe over a month ago when i heard about the thing coming out is me wondering if the battery life is going to be improved the battery life was one of the biggest factors in general that was an issue for me i've made countless videos on the battery life as you guys can see but it's one of those things that I'm looking more, I'm looking forward to most about when it comes to this. And to be quite frank, I know somebody's going to state, "Well, you've already got a Rog Ally. You don't need to upgrade to the new one over just because of the battery." I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway because of the battery, because that was one of my biggest complaints. It's a handheld. We're supposed to get enough battery life. I understand you, you basically have Windows in your pocket, but. Still, especially, I'm going to have to bring up the GP New N4. That thing's smaller than the fucking Asus ROG Ally. And it can I can get about two to three hours out of that fucking thing. And put it in my goddamn pocket. You see where I'm getting at? So, and I know I've already got a GP New N4. But I'm going to get this thing anyway due to content-wise. And due to my problems being solved on top of that. Fuck it, why not? Another big improvement from what I've heard is going to have to be the joysticks as shown from Wolfden's video. And for me, when it comes to the Rog Alley sticks originally, they weren't really a big issue, but they did feel a little bit loose. So if I were to go and pick this thing up, I, I'm sure that they're going to feel a lot better. I haven't really brought them up in my videos because they weren't that big of a deal to me. But having a little bit better of a like stick layout compared to the original is always an improvement. And especially if you are playing a lot of multiplayer games that require that precision, 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 that precision when it comes to a lot of FPS titles or especially with a lot of multiplayer games, that's going to play a major role when it comes to that as well. I, again, I haven't had any issues because I don't even play online. All my handhelds don't even connect to the internet. But for, for those of you who are looking forward to that, this will benefit you guys out there. So in general... With the ROG Ally X, and especially with compared to the original, do I recommend getting this thing? Uh, top things, of course, to look out for Windows 11, like I've complained. Um, the customer service I heard was pretty bad, though I heard that they're fixing it. And uh, it's just minor things. This thing could have issues. I'm talking about the ROG Ally X. It could have issues day one on launch as well. Another thing to look out for, though, like I stated previously, 90% of the issues I can tell you is from Windows 11. So in case you're curious about that, the software freaking out, etc. It's all related to Windows 11. So when it comes to that, that could, the ROG Ally still in general could have some problems. There could be some hardware related stuff as well. So do I recommend waiting until they have a cheaper Z1 uh, model compared to the Z1 Extreme? Or do you what i recommend you guys going out and get this thing personally for me uh if you don't want to go and spend 900 dollars, i would honestly just wait until they have a z1 model or if they there's a sale when it comes to this thing not to bash asus or anything like that it's just 900 fucking dollars in my opinion is expensive if like especially i'm on ssi right now although i'm making a i'm looking for a job at the moment so i'm gonna be getting a job and getting off the shit anyway pretty soon but in general that's all i have to talk about i would probably personally just wait until there's a z1 model out or i would just wait until there it's on sale or maybe even black friday or something like that just my opinion i'm personally gonna pick one up soon i might have i might wait might not wait but i'm gonna pick one up soon once i get the chance to otherwise that's all i have to talk about when it comes to this exciting though that the rog ally x has been announced and i am personally looking forward to this uh like i stated the battery is like the biggest upgrade for me so that's what's causing me to get one is the battery upgrade i mean this might be there's several there's more things about the system that also meets others expectations like i stated the battery meets my expectations the button layout might meet someone else's expectations the ssd thing if you don't want to deal with upgrading that might be 
and expectation. The micro SD card slot, like I stated, would probably be still a disappointment because I don't know if that thing is going to have the same issues like the Raw Galli did. Hopefully not, but you know, there's always an option of swapping out and upgrading the SSD as well if you don't want to deal with the micro SD card slot. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, I look forward to this thing. I think that's all I have to talk about. Like, I usually want to upload the videos. I usually like to, you know, vent and talk about to you guys what I think about a certain thing or a said product. This is one of them. So if you guys do like to hear my thoughts on when it comes to these things and the specs and etc. And what I think about it and what I recommend. Uh, subscribe. Leave a like. Comment below. You don't have to subscribe if you don't like how inconsistent I am. Sometimes I, there, I do go a long period without uploading sometimes like almost a full month is the longest i've gone without uploading because i've been busy with life everything else like i stated i got a video coming out i'm gonna be making some changes on my ch not content wise but things are gonna be a little bit different in terms of how often i upload i'm still gonna be here when something important like this especially with the raw gala x video you know this is we're 21 minutes in where, don't worry, I'm going to put chapters if I haven't. You guys already saw if you're at the end of this video. If you did me make it to the end of my video, comment below uh, personal computer test if you did make it to the end of my video. That would highly be amazing for you guys to do. Otherwise, thank you guys so much. Looking forward to this thing. Um, shout out to Asus for making improvements on the battery and some other adjustments. Price point. The, the you know but hey you know yeah you gotta pay for what what you gotta pay for so anyway thank you guys so much uh i'll catch you guys on the next video i got a, another video that is going to be uploaded today as well it's a cool little video i wanted to test with the game i'm not going to spoil it for you guys you guys will see it thank you guys so thank you guys so much catch you on the next one peace